Hello YouTube, today we have first place Brandon and you played the Tri Brigade Liarless deck. Yeah. So no kitty. Took off, yeah. Yeah, the Liarless cards. Yeah. And you won this mat today actually, right? Yeah. This is a pretty mat. Alright, now show us your uh, your main deck. Alright, so the oh, how many cards is it by the way? It's 40. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'd love to see it. The Tri engine is uh, pretty small just because like it's not really the main engine, it's the secondary engine that like Helps it a little bit better than the pure. It kind of allows you to like have a second like dairy push and like push through cards Which is really good so you can like focus on the wireless cards uh, So just one in one because like you you kind of need your normal summon and this one's like not like the worst normal summon but like uh, You know you don't want to waste normal summon and then this is like the best extender, but I'm not playing more than one At least I can talk about like him uh, Three nerve balls three fractal. Uh, this is like clutch as fuck in this deck and then this is a wing beast. This is actually searchable off the wireless engine, so it's actually like extremely clutch. Nice. And then this just adds to them, so the consistency is really good. Level one. So that's it for the Tri Brigade part, right? Yeah, so this is it for the Tri Brigade cards in the main deck. I mean, I play Tanky, but yeah. yeah, I'm not playing more monsters because, like, again, it's a secondary engine, not like the main part. Uh, for the wireless monsters, uh, so I play three of this. If you don't control any monsters, summons itself. And then if it's summoned from hand, you can summon a wireless monster from hand or grave. So it's really good to start with. Um, this one, if it's special summoned, you add any level one wing beast. So this that can even add Nerval or any of these guys. So it's like extremely good. Um, so you know you like opening these two or like these with Fractal, which is crazy. Um, three Wagtail. Some people are pretty indifferent about this ratio. They play three, two, or one. Um, I like three just because like you know the more names I can have, the better. I'm not really trying to play like cheese cards. Uh, you know, so I always choose consistency. But this adds the bird call, which is really the main thing. And then in graveyard, it attaches itself to one of the liarless sixes. So that's like really really good for, all, for some of the cards especially like when you're trying to zoom some uh i played two of this so a lot of people either play one of this uh, but like the first night i played it uh this i didn't have a second one and it actually cost me the game in game three so i would have won like when the set came out but i just didn't have the second one okay and then two of this this is really clutch at two i wouldn't play three what's though. the name of this one uh canary hey real quick what are the names of the other ones it was like, oh canary. sorry yeah, uh, so this is uh sapphire this is celestial wagtail uh, Cobalt and then a uh, Warbler. Okay. I just call it Turquoise. You're but, good. Uh, and then this one? Uh, this is Canary. Canary, okay. Um, so this one's really good. So it it's a good push through Nibiru because like you usually this do is this the last, last one. Yeah. Yeah, you try to do this last because it locks you into Xyz summoning for the rest of the turn from the extra deck. So like you know you, you can't really do a uh, Link summons with it. Okay. Uh, but it's really good because you can Zeus or push them and just like push for more yeah. damage. Uh, and then it has an effect where if it's a Xyz material. If they talent you, they can't take it with whatever has under this. So oh, it's actually yeah. really like uh, clutch. Um, that's a time matter too much. And then one Avian. Uh, I like it better than Statue because it actually negates something where like Statue, they can just like actually play like a mirror match or you know like a deck that's like you know this is a guaranteed negate where Statue is very cheesy, which they can out it. Um, for spell cards, uh, so three Bird Call. Uh, this card's really good. It uh, dumps, adds one, and then specials one with a different name uh, than the one you added from your hand. Free. Very clutch. Um, and then blow out cards, talents, storm, and dark ruler. Uh, yeah, you need every card in your hand usually, so uh, not that dark ruler is bad. Like you can actually, or not dark ruler, droplet's not bad. You can actually kill them a lot of times, but like it's a very cheesy way to do it. And I rather just have like, you know, yeah. you can like Zeus them really easily, or you can just one card out the board and then use your other five cards and just kind of do whatever you need to do. Hey, that's what I and was then, doing. You yeah. know, blow out I cards. think this has actually been getting a lot more popularity like amongst Yu Gi Oh! Like I've seen it on a few replays, but. And then this card is just really good because yeah. this deck is so magnet to like monster packs. Uh, one of them, one Tiki, one Kabai, one one for ones, basically okay. an FK. And then for traps, uh, three Feather Storm. Uh, a lot of people don't like maining this. I don't know why because this card's BFD. I think it's just game over. I understand you can lose the die roll, but like I think it's still worth the main it. All right, and how many cards is this, by the way? Uh, that's 40. Okay, and then for the main deck. So as you saw, I didn't play Ash. I just don't think that card really does enough right now. All right. Uh, for the extra deck. Um, I'm only playing two. I've never really had the third one come up, um, but two has been fine for me. On summon, it can target any monster on the field, increase its attack by 300 per the material on this, and then you can detach search any level one wing beast. So it's a cobalt for the Xyz monsters. Um, this one came up a lot. So this is another reason why I didn't like win the other night. Uh, because like this one targets a spell and trap that can, your opponent controls, shoves it back to deck. So it came up against a trap matchup, came against like a dragon link, and it came up against like another matchup. Okay. Like it kept coming up and I was like, and tonight it actually won me like three game ones. Okay. Um, one uh, Nightingale, I think it's just ridiculous to not play this card because yeah. it's just free Zeus. And like you can, and it's a funny combo with like these, you can actually kill them. Uh, cause you can just go battle phase, attack directly a bunch, activate its effect, and then like you attack into the monsters with this, you don't take any damage, but they do, and you just kill them that way. Nice. So it's a cheeky little. It's a cheeky little like FTK, but like it doesn't happen that much. 
it's very like very cheesy. Uh, one blue, uh, you do not need to run more than this. Uh, but this card's really good. Non once per turn, uh, shuffle back whatever they special summon. And then when it goes from your possession to your grave from your opponent's card effect, or by battle, you know, it's killing it, uh, you can target one of your lureless monsters in grave and add it back to your hand. So it's actually really good for like getting back in area and just keep pushing next turn. Uh, and then the Draco package, it's just really easy to make. Uh, Zeus. Zeusy boy. Um, one Amirage, uh, like. I you, I don't really summon this that much, but like when you make the full board, you can summon this, or you can like just sometimes do basic ass like tri brigade plays, which can kind of start getting yeah. in there. So it can snowball a little bit. Uh, Ancient Warrior, it's too easy to make. Uh, one on one. Uh, as you said, I play Revolt, but like the uh, the reason you need a lot of cards in your hand is because you do this off secondary effect a lot to bring one back. Usually bring it back your Nerval, and then this just draws and special one from your hand, so it's really good. Uh, some more, the summons Avian, and, and during their end phase, summons a uh, Celestial. And as you, nice. you know, bird call, and then you can just like make this. And then open, of course, because oh this card's very good. And that's all your extra deck, right? Uh, yeah, that's it. All right. Well, thank you, Brandon. Good job on your first place. Thank you,